Hi everybody, welcome back to Buyer's Blueprint. Today uh, on this video, I'm gonna talk about the very interesting topic of collections. Comes up all the time, way too often, uh, in the business office trying to get loans on cars. Um, collections are there uh, for as long as you don't pay them and uh, for many years after you do. Uh, so let's get into that. Um, so collections is interesting because uh, if you've seen my uh, 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 What Makes Up Your Credit Score video, you'll know that uh, collections should only be around 10%. Uh, but here, here's a little Pac-Man, right? And there's, there's 10% right there. I think it's a little bit more meaty than that. I really think it should look a little bit more like the real Pac-Man with his mouth open, you know? Um, and that is because when you get a collection that... Uh, generates up on your score, up on your Equifax or your TransUnion or, or whichever um, platform that the, uh, the collection agency, you know, is, is going to, they could put it to all of them, but mostly they just put it to one because uh, one is enough to generally get your attention and get it, get it paid. Um, and it also costs money to, to put it on. So they generally do, do one, but if it's a, a meteor one, a larger one, they might do all of them. Um, uh, so what happens is, is when this, this collection appears on your report, your score will instantly take a dive, plus or minus a bit, depending on how robust your score is and how thick and rich it is or how thin uh, it might be. Uh, but in general, 75 points. So, so let's say, you know, you had a 650, you know, now you're going to have a, a, a 575 and you'll go, if you've seen some of my other videos, you'll know that under 600 is an instant decline. It, it, a human doesn't even look at your report. It's done in the system and you know they'll check your score and they look at the first thing which is the score itself and it shows a 599 instant decline. Instant. And it'll come back within seconds to the auto dealer looking at it and they'll go, whoa, red light, red light, red light, red light. Decline, decline, decline. And uh, uh, if they have the ability to pull your credit report, they'll be able to see, oh, it's because you've got a collection. So at that point in time, they'll know that they need to send you off to subprime lenders, second, second uh, tier lenders. And, um, you know, you'll be paying a bit more now. Uh, and what's also interesting is this. So uh, we'll get to this. Well, I'll get to this in a second. But uh, yes, that 75 points it's indiscriminate. You could barf on your million dollar mortgage, 75 points. You could barf on a $90 cell phone bill, which I see all the time and it's, it's just so sad. Oh, guy coming in for a loan, you know, he's got a decent score, 650, should get approved, you know, with a bit of fandangling and, and talking with the rep or whatever. Um, but it turns into an instant decline and an, and, and an absolute pass. The vast majority of prime lenders simply say we'll pass on this application if there's a reporting collection, whether it's paid or unpaid. They just say no, we'll pass. That simple. So you still might be able to get approved at prime, you know, if you've got a, a, a an astute business manager who really knows his thing and has a good uh, uh, relationship with their uh, the rep from the bank and they can get them on the horn and talk with them. It, it can happen. But the vast majority will just simply say decline there's no options. I'm sorry, my hands are tied. Sorry, next lender, bye. Um, because like I said, when that, that um, collection first shows up, 75 point ding instantly. And for as long as it reports on your bureau, 75 points off of your baseline score every month. Now let's say that you say, oh, wow, I didn't realize, oh, it's, you know, geez, Louise, I'm going to pay it. Okay, fine, I paid it. So then the, the, the collection changes from, changes from unpaid, and it literally says that, on the, uh, on the report, it says unpaid, you know, $90. And it'll change it if you pay it to, it'll say paid. Um, uh, 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 but it doesn't mean that you go back up the 75 points that you were originally um, uh, dinged for. Mm -mm. As long, and it's different from uh, uh, credit reporting agency to credit reporting agency, uh, and also from Canada, United States, uh, they'll stay on and showing as paid for uh, depending on what kind of debt it is, like car uh, parking tickets, I believe come off almost right away. Um, but things like uh, car loans will stay on for up to six years after showing paid. Uh, so, and if you have a if you have a collection for a car loan gone bad, 
you will not get you will not get a, a loan that looks normal at all. The uh, the first uh, number in your interest rate will be a two, followed by probably a nine. So um, whatever you do, don't barf on a car loan unless absolutely necessary. So that 25 points will stay on your deducted from your baseline score for you know up to six years. So really, you know, you don't want to let uh, anything go to collections. Uh, now, if something uh, 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 does sneak up on you, so for example, let's say you bought a sofa, I'm looking down at a sofa, and you, you know, did the pay-as-you-go plan for uh, installment payments of, uh, you know, 12 easy payments of 250 bucks or whatever, and you forgot to make the last couple payments or you changed banks because you moved provinces or states or whatever, and you forgot to make the last two, you know, the lender might say, well, you know, we're going to chase down this 500 bucks and it's going to cost us a whack of money to, to, um, uh, 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 to put it on to the, uh, you know, uh, as a collection and wait and, and nah, forget it. What we'll do is we'll sell the debt to a collection agency and they sell this debt for 10 cents and a dollar. So that $500, they'll sell that debt for 50 bucks and they'll wipe their hands of it. And what'll happen is, um, uh, is if you pay one collection, that collection agency will say, oh, we've got a payer on our hands. And it, this happened to me just this week with a friend and uh, I was trying to get him a car loan a little while ago and I said, hey, you got a collection, you got to deal with that, here's the guy's number and da 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 and he dealt with it. And then he finally found the car he wanted, tried to get him financed again on it and there's a new collection. Lo and behold, the collection agency that he paid from a few months earlier did some digging on him, or how she was his girlfriend, but whatever, did some digging on them to find a, a new older collection and said, hey, you know, we'll, we'll buy that from you for 10 cents in the buck because we've got a payer. We think we can get them to pay. So sure enough, that's exactly, we went to go get him financed again and, and he had a new collection on. And uh, so um, he ended up just paying cash for the car, but he was getting declined. So uh, 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 that, be leery of that, that once you start paying, you might find new old collections that you've totally forgotten about from years ago. That collection from my friend I was just telling you about, that was, it was 15 years old. They dug it up and they found it. Uh, so you gotta, you gotta be leery of that. Uh, so there's the points there and the score there and the Pac-Man I was telling you about. And, uh, and yeah, so, so like I said, so banks will simply say no to most people with a collection on because if you'll, if you'll wipe your hands of a $90 payment, right, or you know, what have you, you know, how, how will they think that you're gonna deal with their $500 payment on a car? $600 payment, $400 payment, whatever. So um, if you've got any questions about this topic, uh, if you've been declined because of a collection, uh, I can help you out with that. And um, I'll help answer some questions anyways. <laughs> so leave me, leave me a question down in the comments below and um, uh, like and subscribe and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.